The commencement ceremony for the programs within the School of Engineering, Computing, and Construction Management will now be in order. Please be seated. Good afternoon. Thank you. My name is Rob Griffin, and I have had the honor of being the Dean of the School of Engineering, Computing, and Construction Management, what we informally call SECOM, here at Roger Williams University since July of 2021. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of SECOM, and of RWU more broadly, I'd like to extend the warmest of welcomes to you all as we celebrate the class of 2022. I would first, excuse me, first like to take a moment to recognize Associate Dean Chellick. And the 17 faculty members from our three programs that are on the stage with me. First, would the faculty from the Construction Management Program please stand to be recognized. Next, would the faculty from the Computer Science Program please stand to be recognized. And finally, would the faculty from the Program of Engineering please stand to be recognized. Thank you. I would like to also acknowledge the three SECOM staff members that are in attendance. I am confident that the graduating students today will attest that these faculty and staff members were absolutely critical in their success here at RWU. Lastly, I would also like to announce that Professor Khaled Alhamdouni, a retiree of SECOM, was recently granted emeritus professor status. As I mentioned, I have only been in the Dean's role for almost 11 months. After a 21-year academic career elsewhere, I came to RWU last summer. I would like to tell you briefly about what I sought when I was looking for an institution at which to become a dean. And while this sounds like it will be about me, that is absolutely not my focus, bear with me because this is really about this institution and its students, including those that are graduating today. First, I wanted an institution that focused primarily on the student experience where faculty know the students and are dedicated to their learning and to their success. Second, I desired an institution where the students were both motivated and insightful. Lastly, I sought a university on the move, one with clear and unbounded potential, and that was not constrained by doing things a certain way only because that is the way that it had been done previously. I have found all of these things within SECOM and at RWU. As someone coming from the outside, I spent a lot of this first academic year coming up to speed, getting to know the Roger culture, and understanding what the strengths and opportunities of our programs, our school, and our university are. What I've found has underscored that my decision to move to RWU was the right one. Our faculty are passionate and creative in their approach to education and research. Our students show grit when confronted with a difficult task and curiosity when faced with new material. Our staff show care and commitment to ensure that both our faculty and our students have what they need to succeed in their various roles. I feel very lucky to come to work here every day. As I reflect on the 21-22 academic year, I can point to several highlights, all of which involve SECOM students, many of whom are graduating today. My first matriculation, the ceremony during which all of you officially became RWU students three and a half years ago, began the academic year on a high note. This was followed by an event held by some of our engineering clubs at which I introduced myself, talked about my research and career path, and fielded questions about my work and vision for the future of SECOM. At that event, I also got the opportunity to interact with some of our students one-on-one, -on -one, which was my favorite part of the event, 
and at which I was welcomed incredibly warmly. I participated in student club meetings and events, mentored a computer science senior design team, taught my first class at RWU. I count that among the highlights. I'm not sure that the students in the class count that among the highlights. And I attended senior project presentations from all three of our programs, where I learned about, among other things, how to make an app to help kids learn geography while playing a game, efforts to detect ice on roads to protect drivers during winter, and the complexities associated with major building projects, such as an elementary school renovation. I will admit, however, that taking a whipped cream pie in the face from an overly enthusiastic graduating Seacom student who shall remain nameless, but whom I'm staring at right now. <laughs> that was part of a fundraiser, and that absolutely topped my list. Today, my first RWU commencement also is certainly a highlight. Graduation has always been my favorite day of the academic year because we get to celebrate all of you and your successes. Looking forward, I see great things for Seacom, not only because of our tremendous faculty, staff, and continuing students, but because of the path that the students graduating today have continued to pave, forcing our trajectory ever more upward, much like those that graduated before them. Based on your performance here as students, I am confident that you all will excel in your lives after Roger. So congratulations, first, to our graduates. Even almost 30 years later, I remember my graduation day very fondly. While it was bittersweet, I recall the huge sense of pride in my accomplishments. We wish you all success and joy in life as you venture beyond our campus here in Bristol. Know that you always have a home here and that we will welcome you back with open arms as often as you are able to return. Congratulations also to the families parents, step-parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts, uncles, cousins, significant others. So many of our students could not have achieved this without you, and you should also be thanked and recognized for your contributions to today's events. I'd like to wrap up this short address with some quick thank yous. First, to the Seacom staff and faculty for their support over my first year. To the families and friends of our graduates for sharing your students with us for the past few years. I can honestly say, even though I've only been here 11 months, it has been an absolute joy. And lastly, to the graduating students, the class of 2022, for the warmth with which, with which you welcomed me after what I am sure is a, was a few tumultuous years for all of you. Your class will always hold a very special place in my heart as the first class that graduated while I was dean. Thank you. Moving on, our commencement today will have two main parts. Presentation of the core, President's Core Values Medallion recipients and other recognitions, and the part that everyone truly looks forward to, conferral of the degrees and the reading of the names, where everyone has their own moment to shine on stage. I will now proceed with the presentation of the President's Core Values Medallion honorees. The President's Core Values Medallion has been established to recognize graduating seniors, one from each school, as well as what we call at-large recipients, who best reflect university core values through distinctive contributions supporting the core purpose of a Roger Williams University education, to strengthen society through engaged teaching and learning. While the students that are the recipients have already received their medallions, it is an honor for me to announce the Core Values Medallion recipients for the class of 2022 from SECOM. After I announce your names, recipients, please stand to be recognized. The recipient of the SECOM Core Values Medallion was nominated collectively by four faculty within their academic program. This student is one of the top students graduating today and will do so with highest honors 
and as a participant in the honors program. This individual has been intimately involved in extracurricular activities within SECOM, taking leadership roles in two of our student clubs. They have been involved in countless recruiting activities, performed student research in renewable energy, and participated in community outreach. This student has become a central figure in our engineering program and has been identified as a mentor and resource to younger students. Next year, this individual will begin doctoral studies at the University of Massachusetts. Based on this academic and extracurricular excellence and on their recognized integrity, it is my pleasure to honor engineering student Hannah Darling with the Seacom President's Core Values Medallion. Our second recipient of a President's Core Values Medallion is an at-large nominee. This student has excelled in the classroom and will have their degree conferred with honors later in our ceremony. This individual has actively supported other students in their program through acting as a tutor for what most of the students in the program recognize as the most difficult course in the program. This student also has been involved in the club that promotes professional development in their field and has had three separate summer internships, leading to planned employment after commencement with Shamit. They also have been president of the student chapter of the Academic Honor Society associated with their program. As if this were not impressive enough, this individual also has been a varsity athlete during their time at Roger. Based upon this academic and extracurricular excellence and their recognized integrity, it is my pleasure to honor construction management student Luke Wassel with an at-large President's Core Values Medallion. <laughs> Hannah and Luke have exemplified our core values through inclusive, innovative, engaged, experiential, and transformational academic and co-curricular achievement throughout their four years. Congratulations to them and their families, friends, and faculty. In addition to the awarding of the President's Core Values Medallions, it is a tradition in SECOM to recognize the graduating, graduating student in SECOM and those in each academic program who have had the strongest academic performance. I will first recognize the top graduating SECOM student and then ask each of the program coordinators to come to the podium in turn to recognize the top performing students in each of our three programs. Students, when your name is announced, I ask that you please come up the ramp on the right uh, to receive your recognition. It is my pleasure to recognize this year's overall top academic performer from SECOM. The student has followed a bit of a non-traditional path in that they transferred to RWU from a university in their native Japan. From their first semester, this individual's academic performance has been nearly flawless. While being involved as an international ambassador on campus, they pursued a degree in computer science with a specialization area of data science. They also presented a joint research project at the National Conference for Undergraduate Research. I personally had the pleasure of mentoring this student's senior capstone group, and despite their humble and quiet nature, I could see very clearly this student's contribution to the final project. It was a pleasure to get to know this individual during that process. Please help me in congratulating this year's top graduating student in SECOM, who also was our undergraduate student marshal, Reina Yamabayashi.
I now invite Dr. Tony Rucco, Program Coordinator for Computer Science, to the podium to recognize the top graduating student in computer science. Thank you, Dean Griffin. This entire class has been a pleasure to teach over all the time they've been with us. In every course, they have exhibited a level of competence that has been hidden behind their quiet demeanor. But even among the members of the computer class of 2022, one person stands out. In every course, this student has, in, in every student, ugh, in every course this student has been in, excellence has been the standard. The student picked up new topics and technologies and ran with them without hesitation. The student did not talk much, but when he did, it was always insightful and added to the discussion. This, his hidden insight and hidden enthusiasm became evident during his senior project. When talking about the future potential of his project, his client, Dr. Cates, mentioned two things. One, it was the most she ever heard him speak at one time, and his ideas warranted taking this project on for at least one more year. At this time, I would like to ask you to help me congratulate the top computer science senior, Rudy DeSanti. I now invite Dr. Mike Emmer, Program Coordinator for Construction Management, to the podium to recognize the top graduating student in the Construction Management Program. Thank you, Dr. Ruckel. The top student in CM is an outstanding student who reflects the core values of not only our program, but through great work ethic, intense curiosity of all things, CM and a passion for the construction industry. The student has always displayed a commitment to the CM program through their coursework and extracurricular activities. Their willingness to assist fellow students displays a belief in the value of teamwork and collaboration, which will take him far in his chosen career. This individual is well respected by fellow students and was selected as the class speaker representing the class of 2022 at the Senior Alumni Banquet. It is my pleasure and honor to recognize student Luke Wassel as the top graduating CM student. I now invite Dr. Charlie Thomas, Interim Program Coordinator for Engineering, to the podium to recognize the top graduating student in engineering. Thank you, Professor Emmer. The first assignment in the first engineering course at Roger Williams University asks students to write an introductory email to their instructor. The information provided by the students is immediately useful in a variety of ways, but as I sat down to write this address, I realized it has one additional use. Excerpts from it can serve as the perfect introduction for the engineering student who four years later earned the highest GPA. So basically, my address was written for me four years ago. The following message was sent to me on September 2, 2018, which I will note was four days before the due date. <clears throat> Good morning, Professor Thomas. I am from a small town in Massachusetts. And I excerpted this, by the way, so the student may recognize that I'm not reading the whole thing. In my free time, I like to spend time outdoors with my family and friends. I especially enjoy kayaking, hiking, biking, and camping. In addition, I kind of know how to juggle. Unfortunately, I have not yet had the opportunity to use any engineering graphic software. However, I am a quick learner, which proved to be an understatement. So I am ready to start using them. And here's where you need to listen. I plan to pursue a specialization in environmental engineering. Check. 
I took AP Environmental Science and definitely sparked my interest to dedicate my time towards the people and places that need it most. I also plan to pursue a minor in sustainability studies. Check. Sincerely, the engineering student who, in four years, will have the highest, no, I'm just kidding, they didn't <laughs> sign it like that. I am so pleased to announce that the student with the top GPA in engineering is Hannah Darling. Please join me in congratulating her. Thank you, Professors Ruko, Emmer, and Thomas. And we now proceed to the chief purpose of these commencement exercises, the conferring of academic degrees upon the class of 2022. Okay. For all the families out there, please note that there is no order. Okay. They're not in order by program. They're not in order by alphabet. So please pay attention so you make sure you get to see your student cross the stage. If it were my parents, I know they wouldn't have been paying attention, so. <laughs> Our undergraduate students today wear a hood, signifying their graduation with their bachelor's degree and permanent, and I'm underscoring permanent to all of you, your permanent connection to the Roger Williams University community. These hoods bear the RWU colors of white and light blue. Students receiving master's degrees today will be hooded by Associate Dean Chellick as they process for their degrees. The formal hooding of students receiving advanced degrees is a centuries-old practice and signifies students' achievements in their chosen field of study. Master student hoods include a wide velvet band and a color denoting the academic area in which their degree is held. Before we actually go to the reading of the names, we would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge those undergraduate students who have the distinction of graduating with honors. Would all students graduating cum laude with a cumulative GPA between 3.4 and 3.6, please stand to be recognized if you are able. <laughs> please be seated. Will all students graduating magna cum laude with a cumulative GPA of between 3.6 and 3.8, please stand if you are able to be acknowledged. Thank you, please be seated. Finally, will students graduating summa cum laude with a cumulative GPA greater than 3.8, please stand to be congratulated if you are able. Thank you, please be seated. Your hard work and commitment to academic excellence are to be commended, and we are all extremely proud of all of your accomplishments. We now begin the fun part. We now begin the conferral of degrees. Will the candidates for the Master of Science in Construction Management please rise? I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Rhode Island and delegated to the President by the Board of Trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Natalie J. Manson, Master of Science, Construction Management. Stephen Edward Pulver, Master of Science, Construction Management. Okay. 
Now the moment most of you have been waiting for. Well, the candidates for the bachelor's degrees in engineering, computer science, and construction management, please rise. And I ask that the students graduating please stay standing until the last student has crossed the stage. I'm pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study by virtue of the authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated to the president by the board of trustees. We confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please come forward. Nicholas Anthony Pietrini, <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Jaylene Shia Colon, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Benedetto Joseph Bonavita, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Michael C. Bruno, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Jacob Riley Rainey, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Magna Cum Laude. Tyler R. Andrade, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization, Cum Laude. John Bernard, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Intelligent and Autonomous Systems, Specialization. <laughs> Casey William Knight, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Intelligent and Autonomous Systems, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Paul Luis Tuccinardi, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Data Science, Specialization, Summa Cum Laude. Brian Joseph Ranta, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Data Science, Specialization, Cum Laude. <laughs> Nicholas M. Karina, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Custom Specialization. <laughs> John Scott Lovely, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization, Magna Cum Laude. Cameron Champa, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Anthony Michael Chesky, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. John P. Donahue, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Andrew Kelly, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Harrison Thomas Timothy, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. <laughs> Nolan Eugene Tornay, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Brandon T. Robbins, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Joshua Paul Trefold, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Thomas John Grace, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Jackson Robert Tolley, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Ian Thomas Porter, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Andrew Kerbel, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Kyle Matthew Kobilak, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Luke William Wassell, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management, Cum Laude. Michael Milton Makal, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. 
Terrence W. Baker, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. John Joseph DeAngelis, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Custom Specialization, Cum Laude. Patrick Amin Wehbe, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Custom Specialization, Cum Laude. Ethan Thomas Haynes, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Data Science Specialization. Jack Reese Durakin, Bachelor of Science, uh, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science, Magna Cum Laude. Roderick Ronald Ramirez, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Custom Specialization, Summa Cum Laude. Kyle John Witham, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Data Science Specialization, Cum Laude. Rudolph S. DeSanti, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Data Science Specialization, Summa Cum Laude. Reina Yamabayashi, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Data Science Specialization, Summa Cum Laude. Alexander G. Golka, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Civil Engineering Specialization. Jack Walter Gould, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Alexis Laura Rodriguez Des, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization, Summa Cum Laude. Cameron Michael Ferreira, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Civil Engineering Specialization, Cum Laude. Tyler James Williams, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, Custom Specialization. Caitlin Rose Sample, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Jason Stephen Moore, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Kyle Mosier, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Brendan Patrick Regan, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Dean Fitzgerald Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Michael Anthony Sasso, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Mateusz Babinski, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Civil Engineering Specialization. Sean Michael Tonneson, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. John Clayton Rogers, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Travis George Arreta, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Nicholas Richard Cookson, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Camilo John Fontana, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Ryan George Scully, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Ryan Anthony Bobola, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Robert Hanna, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Hannah Rose Darling, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Environmental Engineering Specialization, Summa Cum Laude. Daniela Francesca Gianotti, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electrical Specialization, Cum Laude. Asaya Jefferson Sampson, Bachelor, <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Christopher L. Michaud, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Jake Matthew Stamos, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. 
Nicholas Leo Flannery, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Civil Engineering Specialization. Adam J. Shell, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Michael Evan DiDonato, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Brian Christopher Farrell, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Emma G. Dehitri, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electrical Specialization, Applied Mathematics, Summa Cum Laude. Alexa Maria De Cesare, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Olivia Giovanni Chesney, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Civil Engineering Specialization, Cum Laude. Jacqueline Emily Collins, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Jacob Gamble, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electrical Specialization, Magna Cum Laude. Aaron Courtney Maximin, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Grant Anson Gredley, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. John Bernard Walton, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization, Mathematics. Riley Armand Reed, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Peter John Balamas, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Andrew Edgar John Paul, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electrical Specialization. Dylan Robert Walsh, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Brendan Shane Cornejo, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Nicholas Ryan View, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Ryan James Lanova, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electrical Specialization, Cum Laude. Arlex A. Correa Ramirez, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Ignacio Andres Monge. Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. Carson Jennings Andes, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Civil Engineering Specialization, Cum Laude. Angelo Christian Pio Sedlak, Bachelor of Science, Construction Management. Serena Cassidy Olson, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Electrical Specialization, Engineering, Computer Science, Computer Specialization, Summa Cum Laude. Seth Fraunheiser, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Computer Specialization. Jacob M. Champlin, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization, Summa Cum Laude. Jordan Thomas McLenathan, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Civil Engineering Specialization. Matthew Robert Hillcoat, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Civil Engineering Specialization, Cum Laude. Natalia Wolfgang Benson, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Civil Engineering Specialization. Angelique Rivera, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Mechanical Specialization. James Otto, Bachelor of Science, Engineering, Biomedical Specialization, Engineering, Electrical Specialization, Summa Cum Laude. So clearly that was our last student. 
Uh, but I would like to ask the audience to stand and applaud all of the graduates of the class of 2022 from Seacom. Okay, so before I actually ask the students, before I ask the students to sit, normally I would not take my phone out, but I'm gonna do a selfie with the graduates behind me, both angles, so if you just uh, bear with me. <laughs> okay, put your hands up, wave. This way. All right. Thank you. You may be seated. This actually concludes the commencement exercises for the 2022 graduates of the School of Engineering, Computing, and Construction Management at Roger Williams University. Before I wrap up, I want to remind the graduates that you'll always be special to me because this is my first class. I didn't actually know all of you. Doesn't matter. If you come back and tell me you graduated in 2022, I'm probably going to wrap you up in a big bear hug. Um, <laughs> and then the other thing I want you to remember is you always have a home here. Okay, so please come back and visit as frequently as you can. Okay. On behalf of the university, thank you all for joining us here today and celebrating these commencement exercises. Please stand if you are able and remain at your seats until all members of the recessional including our graduates, have exited the tent. Please stay well, enjoy the rest of your day, and again, class of 2022, congratulations.